Hi everyone. So now that MuseScore's output sound is really pretty good thanks to Muse Sounds, many people want to export videos of their compositions and arrangements, and now we can. If you have a live recording of your music, there's a link to this score video which is better suited perhaps to using a live recording. If you want to just skip to how to make this kind of video, I've added chapters to navigate there quickly. But here's what we would like to do if MuseScore allowed us to. We want to put this in continuous view horizontal, zoom in as far as we need to, and then record this section of the screen. That would be lovely. Unfortunately, we have panning problems. So if I play from here, you'll see that I've got this whole bar. And I miss out the first part of that bar. And it's really just because these the names of these instruments are not accounted for uh, when it when it flips over the page. It's a bug, I know it has been reported, and so hopefully that will change soon and we can we can do this kind of thing. But in the meantime, not working yet. So how about we find another solution, which would be to put, uh, what if we keep the playback head static and move the page instead? And you can do that by going Edit, Preferences, and Advanced, and Smooth Panning. Now when I play from the same place, This seems to solve our problem as the playhead stays in the middle of the page and the page moves around that. But unfortunately, as you can see, when there's all, uh, when any kind of rhythms come up, the page just jumps around really sketchily. Uh, and even with bar lines, it just moves too much. So you can imagine if you had lots of rhythmical things, uh, this would not be a good solution. So unfortunately, we can't do those. Okay, so here's how we can do it. We are going to, with nothing selected, go to Properties and Page Settings. Let's turn this into Landscape Orientation. Let's also go to Page View. And now we can see we've got these horizontal pages because this will fit our video much better. And here we need, may need to rework page turns and so on. Uh, let's also just redo our formatting. So I'm going to, again, Page Settings. And let's increase the size of our pay, of our staves. Basically, I want to make sure that there is only one system on each page. Because I've got a quintet, I can have it fairly big. Uh, perhaps you've got an orchestra and you might want to do something different. But for this quintet, it's working well. Wait, there's still another one. Let's just put that on a new page. There we go. I can use Control Enter to make new pages. Okay, that should be on a new page. Okay, I'm happy with my composite, with my arrangement. I've got all the page turns as I want them. And so now I'm hopefully ready to record. What I'll definitely want to do is zoom in, but actually we're going to go to the publish tab because first of all, it makes things a little bit bigger. It takes away some of the outside things. We've got a blank white page behind it. Even if we didn't on the score page, like I've got this paper texture, uh, so we can go to the publish page and have that. And if I additionally press F11, which takes us to full screen, uh, then we've got a little bit more even to look at. Now also, while I'm here, I'm going to export a wave. Let's find a wave. And this is just in case things go a little bit funny with the computer while we're you know, recording the video. Uh, we can just replace the audio if we need to, because of course that's the most important thing, right? Nobody cares if the video glitches a little bit, but if the audio somehow glitches, uh, that is a big problem for us as musicians. So I'll make sure that it's 48 kilohertz or 48,000 hertz, because that is the sampling frequency that video mostly works with. All right, we've made that export. Now it's time that we want to start recording the screen as we play back. So we have this playback, but we need to record that somehow. And for that, I'll use OBS Studio or Open Broadcaster Software Studio, which is a fantastic open source piece of software, um, very useful for all kinds of things, but in particular for streaming and for recording screens. It's got so many features, so many really good things. And that is what I'm using, in fact, right now to record what I'm doing for you. We Once you have it installed, you can open it up and you will just need to 
create the source. So you'll go click in here and create a display capture. That is of course what I've done already. I've got this, my main screen, uh, which is recording here. I obviously am using this microphone to record this, but you won't need that. What you will need though is the desktop audio. So if you go into settings and this desktop audio, that is my audio interface. Uh, and so it captures whatever is coming out of MuseScore. Of course, remember that it captures everything that is coming out of the computer. And so you want to just close down notifications and things like that while you're busy making this recording. While we're in settings, we also want to go to video and we want to make sure that these are 1920 by 1080, that's full HD, the best thing for YouTube. And we want to have it on 24 NTSC, the frames per second, which is also the best for YouTube. And we also want to go to the output in settings and to recording. And here we want to set the recording format to MP4. Now I've got it set to MKV so that I can have my voice and the output from MuseScore on separate tracks. Uh, but you shouldn't need that. You can just go to MP4 or MPEG4. Okay, so we're happy with all our settings. Now the next thing we want is we don't want to have all this top stuff in MuseScore. In fact, we just want this first page, right? So let's uh, get that one up again. That was Alt and Tab. If you're working on a single screen, that's quite useful. Normally I do this with my second screen and I have OBS on the second screen. Uh, but obviously for now I'm going to show you what we need to do. So essentially we want to just cut out this section. So I'm going to use um, Alt and then drag. So I'll hold down Alt and drag this one in to the edge of that page. Lovely. The top as well. The side is looking good. Let's just drag this bottom up as well. But actually first we should have done this. Go to F11 full screen. And so we're ready to record. Now, of course, if this is in full screen, then you can't access the recording. I mean, you could start recording, but then everyone sees your OBS screen. So instead, we again go back to settings. Let's go to hotkeys. And you can see I've already set this up. I've got a hotkey for start recording, which is Control, Alt, Shift, and S. And the big thing about this is you want to make sure that it's not a shortcut that is used by MuseScore already. So you want maybe you want to just go and check your MuseScore shortcuts. I've found that Control, Alt, Shift, S I'm not using for start and stop. Uh, so I can still access that even while I'm in MuseScore. So now in MuseScore, we can just make sure that we're at the beginning. And that little front bit that we didn't quite hear properly is also another reason why we've exported this. Hopefully MuseScore fixes that quite soon, um, but in the meantime we might need to replace the audio. But I should now be able to start my recording, Control alt shift s There's one more change that we need to make which I forgot about, which is in Canvas we want to change our scroll pages to vertical. And that means that we are now going to have a new page every time. That is more like what we want. Okay, so let's just recrop this. I'll hold Alt, drag it out to the side again. Let's get this in the middle of our page so we can see everything. Okay, so I've adjusted my crop and now I'll just increase that until it fills the whole black area and then center it as best I can. Okay, we're now ready to go into MuseScore and start recording. Once we've finished, we can press our Control alt shift s again, and that will have stopped our recording. Obviously, I'm still recording now. And the final thing to do is just to go to File, Show Recordings, and we'll open up wherever your recordings have been saved. And you should then be able to upload to YouTube. I'm not going to show you that now because I'm sure there are plenty of videos on how to upload to YouTube. And this first page is probably a nice um, thumbnail to use. Possibly you want to make your own thumbnail, um, something fairly simple and easy to do. Okay, bye for now.